Hi everyone, find the intervals of increase or decrease for our g of x and we're going to find the local maximum and minimum. Find the intervals of concavity and the inflection points and use the information to sketch the graph. So the first thing we're going to find uh, intervals of increase or decrease. And you do that by taking the first derivative and see where uh, our values are positive. That means it's increasing, and if the where the our derivative is negative on the interval, then that means f is decreasing on the interval. So we're going to take g prime of x. So remember, this can be written as x minus 4x to the 1 half. So this is a pretty easy derivative. That's just going to be 1 minus uh, 1 half times 4 times x to the negative 1 half. So this is just going to be 2. Get 1 minus 2x to the negative 1 half. That equals 1 minus 2 divided by square root of x. Now to help us find the critical numbers, let's go ahead and factor out um, 1 divided by square root of x. And if you do that, you're going to get 1, uh, you, you're going to have to change this to square root of x. So basically what I'm doing is I'm rewriting this as 1 minus uh, 2 square root of x. So I have to change this to square root of x if I want the same denominator. So I'm going to factor out a square root of x. Uh, 1 divided by square root of x. And that's going to give me square root of x minus 2. All right. That means we have undefined at x equals 0. And by the way, since we have the radical there, x cannot be less than 0. It has to be greater than 0 for our domain. So uh, x must be greater than 0 or equal to it. So we're going to check our critical values at x equals 0. Set this to 0, and we get x square root of x minus 2 equals 0. So square root of x equals 2 square both sides, and you get x equals 4. So our two critical numbers are 0 and 4. You can kind of tell by looking. Square root of 4 is 2, minus 2, so. Now let's do a little sine graph from 0 to 4. We have to start at 0. We can't go less than 0 because you can't do that in the real number system. So when I plug in um, a number, let's plug in 1, I'm going to get uh, positive and negative. So that's going to be negative. If I plug in 5, this is going to be positive and a positive. So that's going to be positive. That means it's in decreasing from 0 to 4, increasing from 4 to infinity. So we're going to say from 0 to 4, it's decreasing. And from 4 to infinity, it's increasing. And that's going to be a local minimum. And you just plug in f of 4. Or ours is an f. It's going to be g of 4. So g of 4 equals 4 minus 4. Uh, square root of 4. So that's going to be 4 minus 8, which equals negative 4. So our local maximum occurs at 4 comma negative 4. All right. Now we have to uh, test for concavity. So our I'm going to look at our derivative that we have is g prime of x equals 1 minus 2x to negative 1 half. Now take the second derivative 
and you're going to get, this just is going to be zero. So you can get negative one half times two. Then you have x uh, times negative two, x to the negative three halves. So uh, these cancel out, that just equals one. So we have x to the negative three halves. All right, so when you do that, um, set this to zero, that's all we have is zero. It can't be, the since this is this one divided by square root of x cubed, it can't be less than zero. So we just want to know what's going on from zero to infinity. And if you plug in a positive number, this is going to be positive. That means it's concave upward. However, there's no inflection points because to have an inflection point, you need to have a positive and then a negative. And we don't have that. We just have the one um, curve here. So there's no inflection points. And this is your graph. So here's your local, did it as best as I could. Remember it says sketch. That means you shouldn't have graph paper. I'm using graph paper because um, I'm using an iPad. But we start at zero because of the square root, domain of the square root. And then I plot at my maximum, and then it's uh, the interval is decreasing from 0 to 4 and increasing from 4 to infinity. That's increasing, and there's no inflection points. And that's it. Thank you. It is a little concave upish. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.